You're watching a Start to Finish podcasting quick tip. Brought to you by the Start to Finish podcasting TV network with Andre Lewis. What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Andre Lewis from the Start to Finish podcasting TV network. And um, a little while ago, I just finished, I think it was a couple of days ago, um, I did a video on um, using the Zoom H6 as an audio interface. Um, and I was very thorough with that video, but I forgot one of the main things to do was to show you, um, cause basically I showed you how to configure it in your zoom a six. Um, you know, I did, um, a video on just configuring it and showing you a couple of, uh, pictures, not pictures, but a video of me setting it up. Um, but what I failed to do is show you how to configure it on the other side, which is in logic pro 10, which is what I use. Um, so. Um, though I'm showing you this in logic pro 10, um, whatever software you use, the concept is pretty much the same. If you use Adobe, if you use, um, uh, Reaper pro tools, um, what's the audacity? Um, the concept is pretty much the same. It may be some different ways to get to that, uh, particular step, but it's all pretty much the same. Um, so what I failed to do again, I'm tell you again, I, I failed to configure it on the software side of logic pro 10. So this video, I am going to show you how to, um, configure your, um, recording software for the zoom H six to be an audio interface. So, uh, let's go to that right now. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to configure your zoom H six uh, in logic pro 10. All right. So, uh, the first thing you're going to do is we're going to open up logic pro 10. All right. So when you open this up, um, usually it won't be a track there. I just have a track there. Um, so I'm going to make a new track. So just assume that there's no tracks there. Um, so the first thing you're going to do to open up a track is you're going to hit this plus sign, plus sign here, or I'll cancel that, or you can go file, uh, let's see, new tracks. Okay. So you can do it that way. You can do it this way. I think this way is a little bit easier. So we'll go to a new track and here's where you're going to configure, um, your zoom H six to be an audio interface. So it, it can record. Um, when this opens up, this more, more than likely is going to say input one. Okay. Now for the zoom H six and what I've experienced, and I've known about four or five other people who connect their zoom H six to be an audio interface, they don't get any audio, um, from putting it on input one, nor do they get it, uh, putting it on input two and the reason for that, you have to set it on input three. Okay. Now your input three is basically input one on your zoom H six. And I'll tell you why. Um, so, but first let me just set this up and I'll show you why after I set this up. So the first thing you're going to do is put it on input three. Uh, then you're going to come down here. And here it says, uh, focus, right? 18. I, this is going to be your, your device. That's going to be doing the recording. I'm going to change that right now to you'll click that. And then you'll have the opportunity to change it. So your input device, um, you're going to change it to the zoom H six, and then you're going to click apply changes. All right. Um, if you don't want to do it that way, you can always go to here preferences and then go to audio and you'll get that same, uh, window here where you can change, uh, the input device or the output device. All right. So let's log out of that. All right. So we already know that we have to use input three for the, uh, input device. You have, you have to, uh, the audio input, you have to use input three and I'll tell you why after we finish this, uh, then we're going to go down and select zoom 
H6, which is what we did. There's a whole option, uh, uh, option of choices here. Uh, we select Zoom H6. And here, your output has to be one and two, okay? It has to be one and two. And this is by what I'm, how I set mine up. Um, so it has to be one and two. And once you do that, once you have your input, your selection of your device, which is the Zoom H6, and you use, I'm sorry, output one and two, you're gonna hit create. All right, so now I happen to have another microphone hooked up to the Zoom, um, sorry, another microphone hooked up to the, yeah, the Zoom H6, and that's my ATR2100, so I'm gonna talk into it. Okay, so I'm talking into it right now, and you can tell by the uh, gain levels that um, it's picking up and it's working pretty fine. So that's good. So I'll put the mic back down. All right. So that's all you have to do. Okay. And that's all you have to do to um, connect your Zoom H6 as an audio interface. One thing I want you to do though is make sure that you choose this and I'll show you instead of just telling you, you're going to right click, then you're going to go to, let's see, I believe it is configure track header and make sure this record enable is checked. Okay. Cause this is going to allow you to record this one and this one at the same time. If you need, if you need to, if you don't, then you're fine, but make sure this is checked. Okay. All right. So let's get out of that. So, Let's look at the configuration one more time and I'm going to show you why um, you have to set it at uh, the input at um, input three. So I'll go back to audio. All right. So. Uh, well, you know what? It's better that I show you on this. Let me just show you just a second here. All right. So this be to hey, let me just do it one more time. I just want to make sure you're clear. Uh, I'm not going to add another track. I'm just going to show you um, input three. You have to use input three because um, the inputs for one and two are reserved for the two detachable um, modules for the Zoom A6, and that's this right here. Okay. These are the two recording modules. These are the two detachable uh, recording modules. And whatever one you put on there, it's going to take a uh, use inputs one and two. So if you put one, you um, attach one to the Zoom H6, it's going to use input one and two because it's a stereo sound. So that's why you have to use input three. Because if you, if I change this to input two, this Zoom A6 will no longer um, pick up any audio. So you get that. This is why you have to change it to um, input three. All right. And as I said before, input three right here. Okay. Input three is equal to input one on the Zoom A6 because these two, these two uh, recording modules occupy inputs one and two. All right. Now the output. All right. Let's see here. Let's make sure I got this right. Okay. So the output here, um, it's going to have to be one and two. Okay. Just make sure you set it to one and two and you will be fine. So let's do it one more time. Just so we understand now that we have a good understanding of why, uh, we're setting certain specific inputs at a certain, um, number. All right. So we're going to go to a new file. Okay. Input three, because input two is occupied. Inputs one and two is occupied by the recording modules, which are these right here. Okay. Now we're going to choose the device. Input six, I'm sorry. Uh, input device is going to be the zoom a six. Okay. And we'll hit, click apply changes. I don't have to do that because it was already there. And inputs one and two. 
I'm sorry, outputs one and two. If I said inputs all this time, I'm sorry. It's output one and two for uh, your output. So it's gonna be output one and two, all right? And once you do that, you hit create. And again, you can see the one I just created, the audio level, I'm gonna bring up the ATR 2100. Okay, so the audio level on the microphone, um, as you can see it, uh, the gain level rather, uh, I'm talking into the ATR 2100 microphone as it's connected to the Zoom, okay? Now, I wanna show you one more thing. Let's see, remember I told you to make sure you configure, um, you go here, let me just put this down, this microphone down here. Remember I said to make sure you configure um, the track. So I'm gonna say, I wanna show you here, configure track header and make sure you have this because what happens is if you wanna record on two devices, all right, let me just put this down. So if you wanna record on two devices, uh, what's going to happen is um, it's only going to record on one. So I'm going to try it now. Okay, so right now it's only recording on one device. And you want it to record on two or you want to record another track with somebody else, a guest or something like that on, on the second track. It's not going to be able to do that. Okay, so let me stop it. Okay, so if you... If you're interviewing somebody on this Zoom H6, the only person that's going to get heard with these settings right here is you right now. Um, because when you hit record, it only picked up one particular um, track. So to put to pick up two, you're going to hit this. Remember I told you you had to make sure you had this um, um, configured? And you're going to hit this. All right. Let me make sure this one is, uh, hold up just a second here. All right. Okay. So what happens is you're supposed to be able to hit this and this. Okay. I don't know why it's not doing it now, but, um, my mind is just probably just lost. Um, but usually when I hit this and I'll hit this and both of them will be armed. And once they're armed, you hit record and both, particular tracks will record. For some reason, I don't know why it's not doing it. Maybe it's one of you guys can help me out, um, but um, usually it does. I don't know why. That's the strangest thing. Usually it does. But anyway, that's how uh, important this is because you wanna record both tracks, all right? So now that you know how to configure your Zoom H6 as an audio interface, you are good to go, all right? You're good to go. Um, so make sure you, um, follow these steps and you'll be fine. All right. All right. So you just seen, um, the audio configuration on the software side. Uh, my other video is the audio configuration on the zoom a six. Um, it should work for you. If you have any trouble with it, please let me know. Shoot me an email at start to finish podcasting at gmail.com. Um, but uh, the steps are pretty simple. Um, shouldn't be uh, too much of an issue. Just make sure what I said about your inputs, make it make sure it's um, an input three and not one and two because the, remember those modules, um, recording modules for the Zoom H6, the little detachable recordable uh, modules that you detach into the Zoom H6, um, they occupy one and two, all right? Um, but other than that, I hope this video was helpful. Um, if you have any questions, shoot me an email. Um, and that's it, man. You guys take it easy and um, be safe. All right. This is Andre Lewis from the Start to Finish Podcasting TV Network. And I am out of here. Later. <laughs> Thank you for watching the Start to Finish Podcasting TV Network.